With our latest update, you now have the option to purchase shipping and print your shipping labels from within Stratify, our desktop application. This will only be available for new batches, not those that are currently open on the list and prep page. When you create a new batch, you will have three options for providing box contents. One, with feeds, which is the method you are used to using if you provide box contents through our application. Two, using 2D barcodes. And three, with box contents off. If you choose not to provide box contents through Stratify, once you create your shipments, you will have two options. Option one is to click the complete and close batch button so you can provide box contents and purchase shipping through Seller Central. You will then be able to download your closed batch file and upload it into Seller Central so you can add box contents and purchase shipping there. Option two is to purchase your shipping labels through Stratify by clicking on the complete shipment and Stratify button for each shipment and ship your products without providing box content. Keep in mind that if you choose this option for each shipment, you will be charged a manual processing fee once it is received at the fulfillment center. Before you can proceed, you do have to acknowledge at the top of the page that this may result in fees from Amazon. For each box after the first box in the shipment, click the add box button. Once you have added the boxes, or, as you add them, enter the weight and dimensions for each. Once this is done, and you have acknowledged the manual processing fee that Amazon will charge for the shipment, click the Estimate Charges button. This will take you back to the list and prep page and show you the estimated charge for the shipment. You can also just click the Cancel button and return to the list and prep page if you decide not to purchase shipping yet. Now that you have the estimated shipping charges, you can accept or decline the charge. If you accept, you will have to confirm in the next modal. Once confirmed, the shipping labels will automatically download as a PDF to your computer's downloads folder and can be printed in 4x6 or 85 by 11 inch sizes. To use the 2D barcode option, you must first enable 2D barcodes in Seller Central. In Seller Central, Click on the gear icon and select Fulfillment by Amazon. On the next page, scroll down to Inbound Settings. If 2D barcodes don't show Enabled, click the Edit button, change it to Enable, and then click Update. Now you are ready to use 2D barcodes with Stratify. Once back in Stratify, and after you have assigned your box contents, you can print all of your 2D barcodes at one time or print them individually. With either choice, you will be taken to the Weight and Dimensions page. If you choose to complete the shipment in Seller Central, we won't ask you for box weight and dimensions since you will be required to provide that in Seller Central. Once you click Submit All, the 2D barcode labels will open in a new tab to be printed using your browser's printing functions. Once 2D barcodes have been printed for each shipment, the batch will close, as this step completes the batch process in Stratify. From here, you can move over to Seller Central to enter the weight and dimensions for your boxes, purchase shipping labels, and complete your shipments. Make sure, in Step 1B, that you select 2D barcodes for your box content information. More information on this step is provided in our support article called Providing Box Content Using 2D Barcodes. If you choose to create your 2D barcode shipments in Stratify, enter your box weight and dimensions. Then click on the Estimated Shipping button. This will return you to the List and Prep page where you'll see the estimated shipping. Clicking the Accept Charges button will bring up a confirmation modal. Once confirmed, the shipping labels will automatically download as a PDF to your computer's downloads folder and can be printed in 4x6 or 85 by 11 inch sizes. Your 2D barcodes will open in a new tab in your browser so you can print them using your browser's printing functions. More information on this step is provided in our support article called Providing Box Content Using 2D Barcodes. The last option is the Feeds option which is our original box content workflow. There were a few changes in the functionality. For example, the old Transmit All Boxes button is now called Transmit Only Boxes to Seller Central and only transmits box contents. 
This does not allow you to purchase shipping directly. If you select this option, you will see some instructions on how to do this using the working shipments window on the list and prep page. But the best option for now is to use the transmit boxes button for each shipment. Once you have clicked on the transmit boxes button for a shipment, enter your weights and dimensions. You won't be able to estimate shipping charges until your feeds have been accepted, so the blue button will be grayed out and will show feeds processing until Amazon accepts them. Once the green success message appears, the blue button will become active and show estimate charges. Click this to purchase and confirm your shipping, and print your shipping labels from the PDF that opens. If you receive a feed error, you must correct this before proceeding. Click Cancel to get back to the box content information page where you can address the issue before resending the feeds. For more information on this, search our support portal for our article on editing box level content information. Join us on Wednesday, July 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern for a live webinar on this update. We'll also have Q&A and the webinar will be recorded for viewing later. Visit inventorylab.link shippingwebinar to register.